Hey guys, in this section we're going to be applying categories to our posts. Uh, we want to be able to show posts just from a, a single category and, and that should be via uh, URL. So I'll show you what I mean. Uh, let's open up a shell and go to our um, blog directory. So we'll go to C sites my Ruby blog and let's just start up our server with Rails S and I'm going to open up my browser localhost um, 3000 so this is where we are in our app we still don't have a home page um, we're actually going to be doing I think the end, the, the last chapter, I think we'll be doing um, all the display and views and presentation stuff because um, we're going to have a nice looking blog. It's not going to look like this. Um, but yeah, what I want to do now is, is apply categories. And what I mean is if we go to, remember we have a categories resource and a post resource. And if we go to categories, we get a list of categories and that's fine um, we'll make these links to go to each category but say if we go to categories uh, slash one what it does is it just brings us to the page for that category and all we have here is just the name we don't want we don't want this what we want is a, a list of posts that are in the category with the ID of one so we're gonna have to edit um, first of all we have to edit our categories show view which is this uh, and then we get to edit the show controller and as and the post view because what I want to do uh, if I go back to posts and we click on this post we have it so it shows us that it's in the news category but I want to be able to click on this and then go to uh, a page that lists all the, the posts in the news category. So we want to open up our, we'll go into our websites folder or our apps folder, sorry. And what we want to do is um, open up the categories. We want to go to app and then views and then uh, categories and then show. So this is our show view. If I go back to if I go back to categories one, this is the show view. Okay. So we just have the name and then the name of the category and then these links uh, edit and back. And the edit should actually we should have already gotten that out of there because we're not going to be using. Um, of the front end to, to add content or edit content. Now I also, I also want to open up our categories controller um, and we get to edit that. I don't know why I closed that but in our app folder and then in controllers we want our categories controller and this is what yours should look like as well if you've been following along. Um, and this here, this respond to, uh, this this actually was created when we did the, um, hold on, that was created when we did the scaffolding. Um, we don't need this here because we're not going to be using any JSON formatting. Um, everything's going to be HTML. And it, I mean, this is handy if you're making um, really intense JavaScript. Uh, applications that need to pass JSON back and forth from the server uh, but we, we're not going to need this so I'm actually going to get rid of it just so it doesn't confuse you um, so if you want to get rid of the entire respond to block including the end make sure you get to that last end or you'll be getting errors so I'm just going to take that out and take it out of here too and I'm going to save that and while I'm at it I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna get it out of the post controller as well. Actually, no, we don't. We didn't use scaffolding for the post, so that should be it. That should be the only instance of that that you see. Uh, and you get rid of these comments as well. 
All right, so now that, that looks much cleaner and, and um, we can actually see what we're doing. So what we want to do in the categories controller is um, we want to go to the show, the show action. And this first part that we have is fine. It's, just gra it's grabbing the category with the ID that's in the URL. So um, it's, that's where this one comes from. But we, what we got to add here, uh, first of all, I want to add a title instance variable. Um, I'm sorry, this isn't PHP. I keep doing the dollar signs. Um, yeah, we just want to get it, get the title of the category, and we can do that very easily. Um, just do category uh, dot name, and now we want to grab the post because remember in this view we want to list posts. Right now we don't have anything to do with the posts, so we want to create a post instance there. There I go again with the with the um, dollar signs. Posts, and we're just gonna get. Um, rem remember how we associated posts with categories. Um, categories can have many posts and posts belong to categories. Remember we did that in the model. Um, I'll actually show you real quick. If we go to app and then models, we go to category, you see we has many posts. So that's an association. And if we open the posts model, you can see belongs to category. So that means we can use uh, variables like this uh, category dot posts so we can use that because we made that association and I think that's it for the show method uh, if we save that and that's just the controller so you're not going to see any differences here yet this we got to edit the view for that so if we go back to the show view of for, for the categories resource, um, this stuff we can just get out of here. We can just remove. Um, and we want, what we want to do is create a, a loop. And we've created these before. So we want the we want to open some tags, and we're going to do posts. So this post here is coming from right here. So it's grabbing all the posts uh, in the specific category. So we want to do post dot each do and we'll put a post in here. We can this makes it so it's it's accessible in our in our um, loop. So post uh, then we can close that up and open another set down here to end this this block. Um, and in the middle here. We're just going to pretty much do what we have on our main page, on our main post page, which is just a list with, with um, the title and then the content of the body. So I'm going to open some H3 tags. And in the H3 tags, we're going to have the title, but it's going to be a link. So we want to do, we want to open up our tags and do link to. And the first argument we pass to link to is going to be the actual text that we want to display and uh, we know that that's going to be um, the post title so we'll do post dot title and then the next argument is the actual link that we want it to go to and we can just use post right here and then we can close those up so that should give us the title and next we want the body so let's use some paragraph tags and in that we just need to do uh, post dot body okay so that should work uh, oh I'm sorry we need the tags it's not gonna work without those so if we save that and then reload uh, and we get an error alright let me just check this out undefined method each that looks fine. Let's go back to the category controller. And oh, two mistakes actually. This should be a lowercase c, and it also needs the um, the at sign in front of it. So that should that should do it. So if save that, and still 
Oh, <laughs> this should be posts, plural. Save, reload. All right, so now it's working. Uh, sorry about that, guys. So you'll see now we're in uh, category one, so it's showing these two posts. Uh, I, category two, I believe there is none. I believe, yeah, see, we get nothing here. Uh, we're going to have to do something about that. If we go to three, that's our second post is in category three, and it works the same way. Um, so we're going to do a, uh, we get some editing to do here as far as uh, display and format, but um, yeah, so that's that's good. So the next thing I want to do is if we go on into a post, I want to make this a link that we can click on to go to the news category. So we actually need to have open up our in our app folder in controllers. We want the um, no, we don't. We don't need the post controller. We need the post view. So if we go in views, posts, and we want the show view. So this here is what we're seeing right here. You can see we have the category. Uh, it's just going to the post dot category dot name. That's what's displaying. We want to make this a link. Um, so what we want to do is link to and we want to keep this as the as the actual text of the link and so we pass in the second argument which is going to be where we want the link to go and what we want to put here is category path um, so this will take us to categories to the category path but we also need the ID of the category so we can actually pass that in if we do ID and we want it to go to the post dot category dot ID. So you can see you can use the these the category variables uh, using the post um, instance variable. See post dot category dot name post dot category dot ID. So that's really cool, and that in Rails you don't have to do any SQL or table joins uh, manually. It does it all for you, so uh, it's really great. So if we save this and we reload, now you can see news turned into a link. If you click that, it takes us to the correct category. So if we go to our second post, the category is programming, and if we click that, uh, one thing I want to do here is add the title of the category. So go back to the show, the show view of your category. And I'm going to open up some H1 tags here. And in that, we should be able to use our category, our instance variable, and just do category.name. But you do need the tags here. All right, so if I save that and reload, now we have the heading. So if we go back, we click on news, and we get the news heading. So uh, it's it's looking up. Uh, I actually want to put a a back button here as well. So if we go back into the, where are we? We're in the categories view. Um, and we don't have very good navigation right now, but once we get our layout and our template um, all set, then it'll be much easier to navigate. And there's probably s small things here and there that you might be noticing that, that are kind of loose ends. We're going to touch all that up in the last chapter, so don't worry about that. So right here what I want to do is I want to uh, add a link that just goes back to the list of categories. So we can do that with a link to, and we'll just say back to categories. And the second argument, we can just put categories path. Um, that should work. So if we save it and reload, now we can go back to the categories. And I actually just want to make these linkable as well. Um, we're not going to keep this the same layout 
I think it's a table. Uh, this is what scaffolding created for us. Yeah, actually, yeah, let's change that up a little. Let's make that um, let's make that an unordered list. So this would be the index. This is the categories index view. So if we go to app views categories index, see scaffolding generated this table for us, which I don't know why they're still dealing with tables. Um, so let's get rid of that. So get rid of that, that, all these TR and TD tags from 1999. All right, so now we should just have a um, just a list of tables. Let's just make it an unordered. Actually, we want to put the UL tags on the outside of the loop, or else those will be reiterated. And so we just want the list tags inside. So if we reload that, whoop, whoop, ah. Where are we? Categories, right? All right, so now we have a list. We want to make those links. Um, and we'll do that by link two. We want to keep the text category name. We just need to pass in a second argument. And category should work, just category. Save. If we reload. They turn to links. Now if we click on news, it takes us to the news posts. And down here we have a back to categories. So we get some nice uh, navigation going. And we don't have any posts here in tutorials. Uh, we'll have to do something about that. We'll have to make do um, some kind of conditional statement. Design. Design has nothing. Programming has one. So uh, yeah, I mean we're getting there. Well, let's actually take care of that now because we don't want just nothing displayed let's at least put a message here that says there's no posts and we can do that very easily we'll just go into the we want the categories show view so up here where this loop starts we can just put it put if right in front of it and um, we can copy this end and turn this into wait I'm sorry we don't want that there because we want the, we want this link the back to categories we want that there no matter what so we change this end to uh, and dot empty and then a uh, question mark so what it's saying is if if there's posts, then display the title and body. And if they're empty, then we'll just put um, sorry, there are no posts in this category. We'll put that in a paragraph. So that should be good. Okay, let's save that. And if we reload, we get a big error. Alright, unexpected keyword. Oh, I'm sorry, I put and. This is this should be end. <laughs> okay, save that and reload. And now we have a message if we have no posts. So if we go back and we go to news, we get the posts. Say design, no posts. So so that's it for the for um you know connecting the, the categories to the posts uh, they collected that they have a database association and we connected them from within the routes and the controllers so um, next up what I want to do is install active admin and start working on the the admin side of this app